Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to another train simulator live stream. We are on the East Coast Main Line today, uh, the merged by, well not the merged, well the the Cambridge Peterborough and the Kingsland Kings Cross route merged together to get the Peterborough to Hitchin bit and then down to Kings Cross. So we're on that today, uh, we're going to be in a class 700, I didn't actually have a thumbnail for it so I need to get some screenshots, that's what we're doing this stream and then I can update that. But yeah, we're on the East Coast Main Line in the class 700. Um, let's see what we have got in the chat. Uh, we've got Quicko, Gregory, Samuel, maybe Quicko, NG, Joseph, Australia. Um, let's see, uh, MCFC, Jude, Big Will, Will, Jolies. Uh, how is everybody doing? Hopefully everyone's all well. Hello, Harry. I'm all good. How are you? So we're loading in. Um, yeah, Peterborough to Finsbury Park we'll be doing. Um, let's hope it does load so it hasn't froze. That's a lot of trains in that screenshot, and then train some odd free over the top of it. Let's hope it hasn't froze. Train simulator does like to freeze, so it's good at that. There we go, it's all good, it's still loading. <laughs> Only Teh Chappy pass out. And look at that, so many on there. The ES44, AC, DC, not the C4 though. Just went on a 375, lovely, that's quite a cool route there, heart of Berlin. That looks quite cool. That old train there and the plane up there. But yeah, we're going in. There's some nice screenshots on here. <laughs> Hello, Flying Scotsman. Takes a little while to load in this route, as it is quite a big one, so I thought might as well load it in and start the um, thingy. We'll get in there. Good to hear, Will. Good to hear you're all good. You no, we're not in LNER. No, it's just that was the thumbnail for the East Coast Main Line I've got at the moment. But we are on a 700. That's what we're going to be in with a stopping service. So wish me luck, as I haven't done a stopping service between Peterborough and Hitchin. <laughs> so, hello, Kieran. Bloody hell, load up. It will get there. Hello, Sam. Uh, you're good. That's good then. Uh, lovely. It will load, it just takes a while this one. <laughs> Fair enough, MCFC. The, the Electro Stars are fairly comfy. I'm good, Joseph. It's a very big route, this one, so. And probably quite a busy scenario as well, as we've got all of the sort of requirements for it, or near enough most of the requirements, so. It will load eventually. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It's taken a little while. Just uh, just found the scenario, so just sort of downloaded it. Uh, I don't know, Jude, it's a tough one. Probably HST. It's more iconic, isn't it? I mean, IET is more iconic for cracking than breaking, so. Do you think Dovetail will add the 700 and train to Mod 3? I mean, I think it would be a very good idea. And that's another one I was thinking about getting, the AP365. There actually is a sell on at the moment, which ends today. So I might get the 365, just as it's the ECML. Quite a lot of scenarios have the 365. So yeah, I might consider picking that up after this. Uh, this morning you'll be taking this class 700-1 unit as far as Finsbury Park, where another driver will take the train towards South London. Prepare the train for departure and board passengers before your books. 7.24 departure. So we've got about two minutes. We are in a full-length unit. Uh, let's get that like that. Set the mask to get it on. It's already in neutral. AWS, fault alarm. Which might go off any second now. There you go. Do I play Roblox? Certainly not. Um, let's get the doors open. Oh, there's a 91. But yeah, um, would you say the 365 pack's worth it? Because I might consider picking that up. Is it? I think it's about £9. I did actually get the AP uh, weather enhancement pack yesterday. So we might see that. I don't know what sort of how much that changes the weather. But yeah, I brought that. That was about £6. But, I mean, you know, we're playing this route a lot. We're playing AP stuff a lot. So I thought it'd be, uh, it would be worth it. And same for if we get the 365, that'll be worth it as well, as we've been playing this a lot. Hello, Daniel. I'm all good. How are you? Let's get the headlights on. Oh, they're already, already set. But yeah, there's a 98. It's a beautiful train, isn't it? It is really beautiful. That looks better than the IAT. 
It's a beautiful train that, especially in that livery as well. The sound, the looks of it, it is lovely. I doubt we would actually probably see that one on TSW if we got the ECML. It would probably be the IET. But yeah. I can hear a diesel somewhere. If there was a diesel, it would be over here somewhere. I can hear a... Where is it? Oh, it's here. It's a 156. Spalding, wherever that is. Hey, Amanda and Mick, how are you? Let's get the door shut. Next session stop is Huntington. I'm on mute, am I? Wait, is, can you hear me all right? Uh, not too sure, Daniel. Well, I don't really know where Hunting Huntington is to. We're 17 miles away, 37 past. Let's base it off time. 37 past. Well, there is no clock in here, actually. So that's 37, was that 12 minutes or so? I think when it goes back into quadruple tracks, that's when you come up to Huntingdon. As it goes into two tracks, doesn't it, for a little while. 91s are beautiful. That's good then. But yeah, this is Peterborough we're leaving. Where my local trains end up. They go quite a way up. I mean, Peterborough is really far up. So look, I think it's in line with Birmingham. Obviously more across. Quite a way. Oh, was it? Is it Huntington? Yes. I'd imagine it probably is. Just pre ordered Train to Mile Freight. Awesome. A little bit of wheel slip. Let's put that back. Cool, 105 miles an hour. <laughs> Fair enough, Noah. Fair enough. Yeah, so I got the AP uh, weather enhancement pack, so we now got the track and the weather. Uh, I don't know what sort of changes it makes. I mean, I suppose it probably does look a bit better, the sky. Probably more when you've got clouds in it. Or maybe this is not even one with the... Uh, no, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, not long. Yeah, it didn't take long. Not long at all. Do I have a dream route to come into Trenton World? Free. Well, I mean, as we've been playing the East Coast Mainline South a lot, I really wouldn't mind that. I think I'd probably prefer this over the uh, West Coast Mainline South, as there's another chance of getting a 700. That'll be three routes. After that, there'd be a chance of seeing it on. Hello, hello, LWR. Is Train Simulator on PS4? No. Fair enough, Noah. 115. Let's see Long we go. Cool. 50 odd FPS, that's not too bad. A few drops there, which is a bit bizarre. That's what we get out of Peterborough. Yeah, that's all good, uh, Well. Uh, I don't know, okay, maybe. Cool. Hoping the AP weather doesn't make the game lag in any way. I'm always a bit funny about adding new things, because I feel like they might lag. Especially like a whole new skybox or whatnot. Fair enough, going on. Lovely. Yeah, along we go. It's pretty quick. Very quick. Hello, Rio. How are you? So, I guess we probably do get the um, diverging signals when we do have to come off. So, we've got a warning there actually for a 100. How many streams today? I, I don't know. Fair enough, dude. No, not just yet. I don't know when that will be, but... Yeah, does the AP weather have any effect to the uh, performance of the game? So 
That won't actually be too far to Huntingdon now. I mean, you probably fly down that bit. I mean, it's probably still a bit of a way, but it goes pretty quickly. It's when it goes back into four tracks. Hello, Harrison. Hopefully we can do full guys, maybe at some point. There's 105, we're about 90 at the moment. We get that up a little bit. Cool. Speeding up a bit. Is our way down the ECM over. Hopefully, it's running all well for you guys. Oh, that's good then, Australia. I don't know, I was a bit funny about adding new sort of things. You left Peterborough, awesome. Cool. Will Farmstead ever come back at some point when I can be bothered to play it? That's one of those sort of tedious games. Like, only when I'm in the mood to play, I'll play it. Same with every game, really. I'm sure, at some point we'll be back on farms and we'll be doing long streams on it and stuff. It will happen. That's done, I went. 125 miles an hour. Well, I'm just putting that to uh, neutral as we do have a neutral section coming up. It should be fairly soon. There it is. I think we are going back into four tracks as well, so we can't be far off. <laughs> Hello, Pivers. It will at some point, at some point. I just don't know when. Uh, I'm not too sure, Isaac. And yeah, there is a possibility we could go past Huntington. Hopefully we don't, but it's it's possible. for a 70 there. So we must be coming up to Huntingdon. Or soon. <laughs> I said this is my first time doing a stopper on this part of the route. So. Uh, the Pringles competition for Xbox and PC. Pretty much, yeah, I think you have to send in a photo, tweet Pringles, and then I pick the winner with the best photo, and then you get to have your own AI character in Train Sim World, which is quite cool. Or your own NPC. Who will be loading the Pringles machines. Talk about Will. Yeah, this is the AP700. No? Oh, we are stopping at Huntingdon, yeah. Because we would have had a um, feather indicator, wouldn't we? Feather and um, probably some yellows. But it can't be too far, can it? Yeah, I'm not too familiar with this part of the route. We've only done a fast service along here. I'm guessing this is some sort of overtaking bit then. Alright, we'll get that back up. Lovely Rio. Well, let's speed back up, but yeah, I can't imagine it's too far now. Went on the 7107 edition of it yesterday, it's way better, lots of liveries, and so good with the RW enhancer, awesome. They ask a question, what would everyone want to see, the East Coast Main Line or the West Coast Main Line? I suppose, good thing about the West Coast Main Line, Pendolino, good thing about the East Coast Main Line, the IET, if the IET is your cup of tea. That's quite, a, I suppose, a tough decision. Well, I'd probably most likely it'll be the West Coast Main Line, as they have the Avanti license. What about the looks of things? You want the East Coast Main Line, it's cool. Or so you say West Coast Main Line. I think it's quite a split decision between the two. Obviously, they're both major main lines in the UK both out of London as well. Back up to over 100 miles an hour. I swear at some point we must 
turn off onto the slow line. I'm hoping we do. I don't want to go straight past Huntingdon. But we've been going for about, what, 10 minutes? So we shouldn't be too far off now. So just look out for houses. And we know we're close. East Coast, West Coast. The thing is, what trains would they do for the East Coast main line? I said the East Coast main line would probably actually be easier to do. Because the 387, they could just change the livery of it to the Great Northern one. That's that already sorted. And also, they have the license for GTR. Yeah, here we go. This is where we're going to be coming off. You can see a flash in yellow there. Quite a long stretch, though, about a station. What was it 17 miles? It's quite a bit. wrong main line again. Now it's the right main line. <laughs> Let's coast that. I suppose there should be a fair amount of leeway in the timetable. Is that another train coming up? No, that's nothing. I was looking at that, that little dot there I thought might be something. But no, it's just a fence. Let's pop back down. Cool. Yeah, so we've got Huntingdon. Um, I've got to do this backwards, the announcements. Uh, St. Neots. St. Neots after Huntingdon. Then Sandy. Biggles Wade, Elsley, Hitchin. Then Finsbury Park, it should be. But yeah, playing this has actually had a quite a positive impact. Like, you wouldn't think a train sim would be able to help out too much, but oh, I'm at 40. Someone asked, uh, so I was at the station on Saturday, and someone asked how to get to Royston, which if I hadn't have played the um, this route, the ATS Kings and Kings Cross, I would have been like, oh, wonder how you do that. I would have had to, would have had to look it up. But no, easy answer. Change at Finsbury Park or Hitchin, I guess. Actually helped out. No, it's down there, is it? It's <laughs> quite a way. Come on, let's get off of it. Right, this looks like some sort of town coming up. So this must be Huntington, finally. You would like to see a part two of the LGV of 208 kilometers long? Wow. Wow, quite okay. What's actually so special about it? I remember I had like a scientific calculator and that was about £25. The ones with like sin, cods, tan, all that useless stuff. Oh, and this is hunting. That was quite easy. There it is there. It brings you right down for it. Hmm. Oh, I, pr I pressed O by accident. Oops. What does O do then? I, pr I pressed O. Oh, we didn't put that on actually. I pressed O. What, what does O do on here? Oh, it does that. O does the doors. Well, that's handy to know, I guess. I well, didn't want to do that, but... Okay. Slightly bizarre. Right, well, there we go. That's what O does. Yeah, because I was looking at the um, passenger lights, uh, light sync, and if you could turn them on or off on quite a lot of AP trains, O, o for Oscar turns off the uh, turns on and off the lights. 
So I was like, I wonder why I, if I press that and it, it does the doors, apparently. Well, now we know. Don't press O. <laughs> Something's on its way out. What is it? An IAT? A 225? I reckon it's, oh, it's an IAT. There it is. Look at that flying around. Brilliant. So we'll be right to the end of the platform here. Hello, Alfie. How are you? You're bluey. You're bluey. You're an avatar. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Possibly, uh, Gregory, yeah. Uh... I can't remember what it bloody does sin cause that trigonometry or something like that. Here we are. Uh, right. T, and then do that. There we go. Here we are. This is, uh, Huntingdon. We have arrived on time. Well, I thought we were at 34, but I guess that's probably the leeway, isn't it? So, um, yeah, depart 741. There we go. And then after this, we have got um, St. Neots, Sandy, Biggles Wade, Elsie, Hitchin, Stevenage, and then Finsbury Park. Lovely. Oh, is the destination not set to Horsham? Oh, no, it's not, silly me. Get there, we didn't even turn on the DSD originally. It's a bit, a bit naughty. There we go. And now we wait. How far is um, St. Neops from here then? That's what we've been showing up. Or is it? Maybe it's somewhere over there. No, nope, don't know. Can't be too far though. And what time wise is it? Yeah, it's only seven minutes away, so. Can't be too far. Right, let's get the door shut. It is seven miles away. Wow. Let's go. It's an American TV show. Oh. And we're off. I guess we stay on this line the whole way down. Yeah, I wonder if we're going back onto there, are we? Cool. It's nice, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so that's not coming up on there for some reason, but it looks, yeah, it's six, six or so miles. Should go fairly quickish. Oh, it's Australia. Oh, well, that's American. <laughs> Motor of sound. Heidi and PLK. Driving a 484 on Trenton World. You mean Trenton World 2 in the rain? Nice. Yeah, we're on to the weird 75 miles an hour slow lines on the East Coast Main Line. They do like 75 miles an hour around here. Yeah, what are we running at? We're running at uh, almost 60 FPS along here, which ain't too bad. And on some of the lines, you can get to like 120 FPS. Like, I think on the um, Dovetail Games ECML South, we got to about 120 FPS. But that is because it's one of the older routes, so. <laughs> you meant to put Train Sim Mod 2. Cool. It's a nice route, though, the um, East Coast Main Line. It's a bit weird with the 75 miles an hour limit. But. Especially as that bit to the right of us is 125 miles an hour. Oh, 
whistle board coming up. I'm taking a bit more cautiously as I haven't driven this bit southbound before and especially on a, a stopping service. It's the first time we've done a stopper on here. So, just taking a bit more slow. We're route learning. Note the speeds, just, yeah, stations. What about that, are they? At 75 miles an hour, West Coast Main Line. I'm guessing you're going to say on the West Coast Main Line it's like 100 or something. Fair enough, quick, eh? I think it's quite a split, really, between ECML and WCML. They both would be a brilliant addition to um, Train Sim World. I reckon we probably would see the West Coast Main Line first, though. Comes a uh, 91. What a beautiful train. I think about 70 at the moment as we uh, make our way down. Up to 100 miles an hour. Yeah. The thing is, wonder when we will see a new modern British route on Train Sim World. The last one we saw was, well, will be, for now, the Brighton Main Line. As you can't really count Isle of Wight 22 and South Eastern High Speed as we've seen them before. So I reckon it, it probably will be, I reckon it'll be a Main Line route, the next one. Surely. It feels really slow when we've just been up to like 115 miles an hour. I don't know, what does everyone think the next UK modern route will be? Seems more scenic. Hello Zane, uh, how are you? I'm all good. That would probably be uh, that would probably be it, wouldn't it? West Coast Main Line. don't know about the Voyager, or the Super Voyager. That, I reckon it probably would be the 350 and the 390. Maybe a Super Voyager as DLC or something. WCML. Good to hear, Zane. You're at Huntingdon. Lovely. What's that? What are you in? A 700 as well. And yeah, this is another scenario off Alan Thompson's Zim. Some really good ones on there. Much easier to search as well than through Steam Workshop. Easier to find things on on there. Lovely. Well, <laughs> we're getting there. Slowly. We also got Train Sim World today. I don't know what route we'll be doing, but we'll be doing that. Maybe, yeah, you could do the 319, couldn't you? That would be quite cool. It wouldn't really be in the right place, though. The 319 on the West Coast Main. That would just feel a bit weird. That would, that would, be, that would feel weird. Driving on there. Wouldn't feel right. Now we're coming into St. Neots. Which looks to be an island platform. Nice. We're right to the end of the platform as well. So we're coming at a fair speed. I don't know if any of the stations along here are SDO. That looks to be a fairly long platform, so. A bit close to the uh, edge there, aren't you? Bloody hell, he's a bit close, isn't he? <laughs> Lovely Alfie. Yeah, is it? I can't be SDO here. No, probably not. Yeah, it's, um, it's not. Here we are, this is St. Neots. Sandy next. Cool. Quite a pleasant journey so far. 
Yeah, that's true, West Coast. It's just, it, I don't know. For me, it would just be weird driving the 319 on Train Sim World on a West Coast mainline route. It, it Weird. That's not their home. Their home is the... Or was the Brighton main line, the Midland main line, that sort of place. Although, it would be cool though. But yeah, a bit weird. Sandy next and another seven miles. Let's go. Hello Mahone, how are you? Cool, we're off. I love the track drawing sounds. This is the 700, the wheels look so just uh, simple. Looks like a toy train, the wheels. Lovely Rio. Hello, Thomas. Eighty miles an hour, that's, <laughs> and that's an upgrade, I guess. At some point, but yeah. Never go first class on. Uh, well, yeah, if you're if you're travelling in the southeast, there's no point in getting first class, especially in the eight hundred. No, in the seven hundred, as if you're in the seven hundred. You can sit in first class at the back for free, which I don't do because it's first class. But yeah, you're allowed to do it, but I don't. Just out of courtesy for people who actually do get a first class ticket. Yeah, it's slightly peculiar though. Is that if you are travelling on a 700, the rear first class you can sit in with a standard class ticket. It's de declassified, I think they call it. Which I still find a bit peculiar, but yeah, <laughs> you can do that. So just don't get a first class ticket if you're travelling in the South East. Not worth it. Even in the 377s, it's not really worth it. You happen to go on first class when you go on a posh quick okay, fancy. Well, I suppose when you are travelling above London, first class probably is actually worth it. Yeah, you, know, you get the food and free drinks and stuff. You know, I'd probably go for that if it was a relatively, you know, all right price. I've heard LNER first class is good and Grand Central. Yeah, probably if I was travelling up to the north, I might, or anywhere above London, I might get first class. But not worth it down here. Welcome back, Will. Cool. I should really get a screenshot as well, shouldn't we, really? Do that at some point. See all the hills in the distance. That's not bad. Uh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, that's, that is worth it. If it's only twelve fifty. That's not too bad, is it? TP has a nice first class. Bit of a horn spam there. Yeah, make our way towards London. Um, in fact, let's save the game as well because it will probably crash at some point. Awesome, uh, give me trains. Is that first class or standard? I love trains of the, the um, oh first bat. Fair enough. Yeah, I love trains with the little food bar on them. It's great. See, Southern used to do a trolley. They used to bring around, but then they stopped that. 
which was a shame. I didn't Joseph, no. Not last night. I wanna try to whiz past us. Maybe it will at some point. Cool. Right, I can't be too far to uh um Sandy, can it? Yeah, it can't be too far off. Surely it's been almost seven miles now. Lovely. We've got 34 people in, so thanks all for coming in for a bit of East Coast mainline action. This must be it coming up here, mustn't it? That's not bad, right? That's not bad at all. Was that like really in advance? Oh, I see, yeah, quicker, fair enough. Yeah, I was watching a video yesterday which was saying GWR first class was a bit sort of pointless as well. Smudge is coming up. She she got down to see the door shut, and here she comes. Lovely. Well, it must yeah, it must be coming into uh, Sandy now, or at least soon. Fair enough. Okay. Can't be far off, we've even got a warning there. Actually that one doesn't really apply. Smud no 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 no. Here she comes, not in front of the screen. Yeah, sit there, that's better. Yeah, case is it. <laughs> oh I know what she's going for. No 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 no. Come on. <clears throat> right over there. And across there. There we go. So we are coming into the station. Oh, lovely well. <laughs> Brilliant. How are you doing well? Don't think this is probably SDO either. That seems like a fairly big platform. And you've also got the off indicators on here as well, which I really do hope we do see in Train Sim World at some point. Because surely the off indicators would be fairly simple. I don't know, they might not be simple, but I'm sure they'd fairly simple to implement when the signal's red they're not on when the signal is you know yellow or green they're on just to add that you know a bit more realism yeah this is sandy doesn't look very sandy does it and then after this, we have Biggles Wade. Which is at 8 o'clock, so that can't be. Oh, I can't get Smudge. Come on, move. Go, 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 go. Smudge, don't. Now, knocking the bloody thing down. Sometimes you have to give her a gentle lift to sort of make her move across. And we did turn the DS. I haven't heard the DSD go off yet. I'm just going to quickly. Yeah, I haven't heard it go off yet. I don't think it's gone off. Right, let's go. Bit of Biggles weighed in. Well, not long. <laughs> My neck would go. No, no, no. I think the window is open, so she probably could go out there. In fact, she did yesterday. I opened the window, she just went out. But when we're streaming so much, you always want to go out the door, don't you? Which is shut. Here comes a uh, 225 or 91. Oh, that's got the uh, in city swallow on the front. Oh, hello. Whoa. That's brilliant. There goes that. Cool. Any other stream? Yes, Mason. There will be. 
Uh, the 700 is like £11 on the Steam store. Uh, but then if you get that, you want to get the AP pack. Um, so that is another... But it's on sale at the moment, I think. It's about £8 or so, I think. I know it's on, on sale. What folder did you put the ATS East Coast Mainline in? Uh, it just automatically installs. Well, this is the ATS Cambridge, Peterborough, and Kings Cross, Kings Lynn, but yeah, it should just install for you. This is the ATS installer, which is nice and simple to use. You buy the route, start the download, and it just does it all for you. How was it, Rio? Lovely. See Biggles Wade coming up. I guess we've got an IET on the way up. Hello, Essence here. What do you mean today? Cool. Yeah, this is Biggles Wade. And then we got LZ after this. And then after LZ you've got Hitchin, Stevenage, and on my faster things we park where we end. Yeah, I mean it's on sale, it's fifteen pounds the worry lines at the moment, but I'm more tempted to get the three six five. Um as I feel like we'd probably play that more. So I'll probably I might yeah, I think after this I might get the three six five um EP. Hello Permian, how are you? Especially as what we've been playing this route quite a lot, and quite a lot of the scenarios do have the 365 in. So, I don't know, Mason, maybe not today, mate. I will do Wompsy at some point. I am still sort of in the mood to play it, just I've been wanting to play Train Sim as well. So, neutral section. Do you mean a neutral section? Just where you have to turn off all the power. Well, just make sure you're neutral. <laughs> So there's the gap between the power supplies. Oh, let's go for that. Let's look for that side. Nah, that would eat. <laughs> Here we are, this is uh, Biggles Wade. Cool, and then after this we've got uh, LZ. What was it? Biggles Wade, when were we due here? 8 o'clock, so we're about a minute behind. But we should be able to make that up on the Finsbury Park bit. Quite a bit of leeway. Four miles away. Enough for him. How do you put the eight oh one into the game? Uh, that's Armstrong Powerhouse. They've got an installer for that, so once you buy the pack, it will give you a download. You download that, and then it will say, sort of, well, you know, the 80800 pack, and then you click on there, and it comes with the, with the installer. So it all does it for you. The only thing you need to do, really, is select what folder to put it in, which is the Railworks directory. And that's it. My favourite German route on Train Sim. Well, when it comes to German routes, we don't really do them on Train Sim. Um, because, well, it's just such a big selection of British routes, there's no need to do anything outside of the UK on there, on here. Um, uh, so, yeah, I don't really have a favourite German route on train sim. Let's go. Let's get that out. There we go. 
cool. You're driving about 90 miles an hour. Lovely, Rio. Is that a warning board coming up? It is. There's an IET as well on the way up. You can see the whistle board on the down fast is slightly further back. Stops it uh, much faster. There we go. When are we doing diesel rail car simulator? When we do diesel rail car simulator. So at some point, that's literally the answer to all of those sort of questions. Midland uh, main line in this location. Uh, what are you trying to install uh, new water bus? I think with the just train stuff, you actually have to go into TS Utilities. Do it through there, possibly. It's been over a year, almost a year now. I might let out smudge at the next station. I wish it'd be meowing and jumping down on here constantly. Nice quick out. Was it worth it? <laughs> Is it all shiny and nice with lots of buttons and stuff? Everything on Train Sim Mod 2 will go to Train Sim Mod 3, so there won't be any point playing Train Sim Mod 2 anymore. Oh, lovely, quick air. We'll still play Train Sim Mod 2020 as with the Northeast Corridor New York, which I do need to do at some point on stream. Not long, Mason. is Erosy. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably go and let her out. An all stop marker there. Here we are. Right, let's quickly get out smudge before she knocks something over or something silly like that. Hold on. Come on. Right, that's that sorted. Let's get the door shut. It's probably almost ready to go. What will you do first on train to Malfrey? Well, the British route. How can it be? Hello, Kenster. There we go. Uh, doors. So I did press R, so they should have shut. Maybe they didn't. Hitching next in five miles. Let's go. Deals on the Brighton main line when I was at Red Hill lady was stuck under the train. That's not good, Rio. Really. Stuck under the train. And there we go. <laughs> yes, we've got the uh, flu. Fair enough, Munchies. Well, I suppose if they did redo it, they could probably do New York to New Haven, and then include Grand Central as well, and the line up to New Rochelle. 
that would be probably what they would do, I'd imagine. That's what they did on Train Simulator. Because the new at Liberty bit is a bit, eh, so sort of okay, but... I feel like, yeah, it would be New York to New Haven. the original 801 uh, yeah um, yes so that's the East Coast Main Line South although if you've got Great British Rail Journeys I don't think it includes it so you'd have to buy the ECML South again so yeah you need the ECML South by Dovetail Games which is a good route uh, an oldish one but it's not updated like this one so this one's more modern day Should know when we're coming into Hitchin as you'll see the um, flyover going over the top. Someone know we're there. Lovely. Uh, yes, well. Yeah, East Coast Main Line South by Dovetail Games. Have we got the Medway Valley? We do have the Medway Valley line. It's a very nice route. Working our way down. Must be the fly over there, so we can't be far from hitching. Yeah, now approaching hitching. Uh, we have, yeah, we've done a bounty on here. is just round here. Which in fact I'm gonna save the game. That's now quite a way down. <laughs> Happy birthday munchies if it is your birthday. Can we get some happy birthdays in the chat for munchies? If it is your birthday, which I'm guessing it probably is by saying that. <laughs> Here we are. This is Hitchin. Just see much more trains now. Oh, there you go, there's a uh, 90 watt spot you'll see in that go past. Speeding right through at 125, that would be. Hopefully, you're having a good day, munchies. That was quick, that one's already off. That's going to Cambridge, that one. Not using the flyover. And that one goes. A 
Look at that snake in its way across, isn't that brilliant? Cool. Keep the door shut. Stevenage next. Let's go. Um, hmm. For train simulator, you probably want to get the Chatham Main Line, the 2021 version. Uh, that's about 130. That gives you a really good experience for, well, third rail. So yeah, that's definitely one. And I suppose probably the main lines, East Coast Main Line South, West Coast Main Line South, they'll all give you a brilliant experience. It's really up to you, really, what you... It's really, I suppose, what you like. I mean, what what do you like? Lovely uh, munchies. Going out for a meal or anything? Or just staying in and, well, chilling out, as you said. Hello BVG, I'm all good, how are you? You're in Berlin Spandau doing Route 137. Is that on OMSI um, BVG? Awesome. Hopefully we go on to the down fast. <laughs> Fair enough, do let me know when um, when you do it. And that's, that's actually to anyone, if you do make a British Ace delivery, do let me know. And there might not be a video on it now. Uh, I've actually, well, I've recorded the last TSW video um, yesterday. As I'm always four days ahead, so yeah. But I'm going to leave it to the mods to vote for which one is the best. So, give it some welly. How you doing, Bowser? Neutral uh, section. There we go. And I still don't know when I'll be getting the codes for it, but th th I will be getting them. Just got to suppose wait, wait and see. Uh, this is I don't know what service is Peter. Well, Peterborough to Horsham the service. Fair enough. Um, yeah, fair enough. Uh, munchies. Let's just save the game again. It's not too well, it's been an hour now. Well, about 55 minutes since we left Peterborough. So it's quite a stretch down from Peterborough to uh, Hitchin. And from Stevenage to uh, Finsbury Park it ain't too long. And especially if you're on the down fast, it won't take too long. Lovely uh, Rio. So you're doing a proper fast one. And welcome to Stevenage. Cool, let's uh, start bringing that down. Yeah, thanks all for coming in. Uh, after the stream, there will be train sim world. I don't know what time train sim world will be, but it will be at some point. It should be right to the end of the platform here. It must be quite a long platform as well. Here we are. Something in Peterborough. So that's, yeah, it was about 17 miles, I think. Which is quite a bit. 
That's like almost the same as Gatwick to East Croydon, but just no stops. Oh, Riviera Line in the 50s. That would be perfect then. Well, yeah, Riviera Line in the 50s. And also the Riviera Line. That's got diesels, of course. And the original East Coast Main Line, that's got the Dell tick on. That's a good one. Really cheap as well. Couple of minutes late. Oh, I don't see Permian. What little bay one? What little terminating one? Trains be parking 25 miles. Probably will, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, we're in the 700. Hello, Transit Lounge. Cool. So we've got Nebworth in Welling. Well, after Nebworth, we should then be on the down fast, hopefully. Lovely, well. Well, yeah, Riviera Line in the 50s would be perfect then. Goes up. There's DSD. Beep beep to you too. That's like, is that the Hartford loop going off there? No, is that, I don't know, what's that bit down there? Where's that go? You've seen the cab of a 700, fair enough. I wonder if you can drive that part on TSW. So I think you can on the original ECML South. What should I have for my Monday lunch? Oh, I don't know. Uh, some toast. How oh, toasty? Not sure. Half an hour, I see. What services run on there then? I think that is in the uh, original ECML South. I don't think it's on this one, though. Or is it? No. I don't think it is. Hello, Smudge. Come to course card. Do I like soup? No. It's disgusting. Especially tomato soup. That's the worst. Here's Nebworth. Of a fried egg on it. That's, it doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> How you doing, Dare Fast? This is back again. More gates there, I'll see. Go through the tunnel in a second. Is the modernised what the LNER forty three? No, don't get it. You can get a reskin for the other one. You can if you want, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't get it. When are we doing firm bus? Uh, I, I don't know. At some point. Yeah, get it there fast, and we'll get us up to one hundred and five. Space bar on the way through. Or she can press enter and I think that'll put the emergency brakes on. That would not be good. I think there's about three or four tunnels, I think, Rio. Yeah, three or four. 
I'm pretty certain the L L and E R HST is the same, just a different livery and a slightly different interior. But I mean, if you get the ECML South, you get the class 43 with it, so there's not really much point. <laughs> I don't know, man, I'm not sure. Yeah, the Valenta, the VP185, and the. what's the other one? I can't remember the other one. They're all on sale at the moment. Let's save the game. Broccoli cheese, isn't it? Sounds interesting. <laughs> you don't like it. Empty, man. How's it burning? Oh, it's the uh, Argo, yeah. Lovely. Have the speed on here. Coming up on Welling Garden City. Bet the DSD will go off, won't it? Just as we're getting a nice little shot, it will go off. through Wedding Garden City. Lovely uh, Gregory. It's great getting the 700 up to speed. Poached pair, I don't have ever had that. Oh, I see. Got a TV in. So then you've still got uh, what stations have you got? Um, Hatfield, Wellham Green, Brookman's Park, and then Potter's Bar. That's like the next section. Round we go. Sounds quite posh. Have you heard your poached pear? What is it? Poached pear? I've heard poached egg. It's just that but a pear. We're in North London, lovely. Oh, there's a 313 there. There's another 700 here. Look at you. Stop. I'll go fast, yeah. No, no trolley service on here. The Thameslink 700 first class is pointless. There's one you can sit in first class for free at the back with a standard class ticket, and it doesn't really, I mean, the seats aren't that much comfier. Yeah. Uh, I haven't known not yet. Is it for this route? Or for the ECML South? And this is uh, Wellham Green. by a small little station. A sonic livery for the javelin. And then Brickman's Park next. And then Potter's Bar. Which is that sort of like another section done. And it's sort of the main, you know, lots of station section into London. 
Oh, see, yeah, that's not too bad for me. We are going fast. Because we're on the um, down fast now. So it's not 75 miles an hour. And then Potter's Bar next. It does look like we're going about 300 miles an hour. It does have a good sensation of speed, doesn't it? How you doing, AC? I don't know, 40 FPS. A few drops every now and again, but... Oh, no, that's... What is sticky keys? I don't want sticky keys. Go away. Let's have a look at the sticky keys. What on earth is that? I want to save the game. Oh, I can't press anything now. What? It... It's hang on, I can't press anything in the game. <laughs> what is going on? Well, I can press that. Oh my god, what a disaster! Sticky, what is sticky? I can't press anything. That now it lets me. That's a bit late now, but unbelievable. Can I isolate that quickly? Is it not let me do it? It's not let me do it again. Bloody PCs! Ah, oh, unbelievable. Possibly quick, okay. Uh, GTX 1660 Super. I need to back out of it and go back in as I can't press anything. Does it? No, yeah, I can't. can't press anything. That's really annoying. Won't happen on console. Right, let's. Uh... Right, let... we need to get out of it and go back in. And, yeah, for some reason. In fact, let's not save it. Let's just get out of it before... I can press things there, but it didn't let me press anything in the train. I was pressing E to do the DS in. It was like, nah. Right, let's let's restart the game. Right. So let's go back in. Is, how were they? Right, let's, um, let's go back in. There we go. I'll have to look at that. 225. Now well, we'll go back to our last save, uh, which I can't remember when our last save was, but yeah, that's quite annoying. How do you deactivate sticky keys? What is the purpose of sticky keys? <laughs> right, let's go back in. And hopefully it will uh, behave this time. Spam shift. Uh, now nah, again, I'll, I'll leave it for now. <laughs> right, there you go, do that. I bet the game will crash now. Right, come on, load us in. Standard. Uh, we were on. It was that one. Resume. I don't know, anyway. I don't know. What was I even pressing? Uh, I can't remember what I was pressing. I don't. I, I don't. I can't remember what I was pressing now. Uh, okay. Well, it might be sorted now. So I'm pressing no on the thing. So. I'll press two of these at the same time. Control Alt Shift or Windows. Well, we'll see. It might be all right now because we've restarted the uh, thing. Yes, it's all good now. That's good. Um, I don't know why the DRA is on. Let's get that off. That's a bit weird. Okay, there we go. Well, there we go. We're back to um, how it should be. Yeah, I think. Is everything still on? Yeah, everything's still on. We're all good. 100 there. That's a moment of madness. Right, so I, I can't remember. Yeah, I was pressing to see. For the camera? What does she, oh, yeah, it speeds up the camera, doesn't it? Were we getting a flower brush? I think we're getting a flower brush. I don't know. Well, anyway, it's all good now. We're back in. There 
it will be Hatfield, no, Hadley Wood. That's the next one. Hadley Wood, New Barnet, Oakley Park, New Southgate, Alexandra Palace, Harringay, Hornsey, and then Finsbury Park. Here's Hadley Wood. It's manager on the chair next door, and there's number 700. Now we'll, now we'll save it again. There we go. Sticky keys again. Don't know. Okay. Is that a 717 coming up? Yeah, that's a 717. And does it? Okay. Uh, yeah, you should come on, uh, Ron. Uh, we have a GTX 1660 Super. That, that's the card. Uh, Nvidia GTX 1660 Super. There's new bar on it. And Oakley Park, which is just around the corner. He doesn't have an RTX 3090. So they are very, very, very expensive. Well, they, they sound expensive. Oakley Park. Yeah, New Southgate next. Lovely. That's changed back to Peterborough. It just like changed everything back. There we go. Hello, Elliot. How are you? Yeah, we're not too far from Finsbury Park now. It goes fairly quick, 25 miles, as we're going at about 100 or so miles an hour. Sticky keys. There's New Southgate. That's Alexandria Palace next. Is this the no stopper to Glasgow or something? Could be, yeah, it could be. <laughs> We're not stopping at many places, are we? There's a 95. section coming up, just coasting at the moment. And there's Bounds Green that. A few IETs in there. There's another 313. As this scenario is set in 2019 when the 313s ran on here still. Seven hundred stuck behind it. Hornsey next. Here's Hornsey. Is that a flashing yellow for us? Could be. I think it is actually. Save it again. Yes, Haringey next. Got a few three eight sevens in there and seven hundreds. Got 
Got a flyover up there. There we go. And Harringay, and then it's Finsbury Park after this. And there is a 225 or a 91. Very nice train. As you can tell, it's quite busy around here. Trains and stuff. Piece that stick, obviously. So we're going to be going on the left hand side. But yeah, that is pretty much Journey's End. If only this route and um, Brighton Mainline, South London Network were all connected up, then you could probably take it all the way to Three Bridges. That would be uh, that would be awesome. Maybe one day. Not what you can with the Bedford ones. You can take them right through. There's Rafa. Finsbury Park. Then this would then go through the canal tunnels to the core section to St Pancras Internet or St Pancras Thames Link and then onwards into well Brighton Mainline, South London, that sort of area. <laughs> it was a bit stiff, oh god. Wow. Okay, the three on three going. Uh, I think you're supposed to close your doors. Uh, well, yeah, um, I suppose they are old trains. There was never a fault with that. <laughs> well, yeah, off, off it goes. Uh, only in London. Cool. But yeah, Finsbury Park. Seems noisy, and yeah. Next driver is here to take uh, the train towards Horsham. Good work this morning, scenario by Adam Hay. And yeah, this is on the um, ATS Alan Thompson Sim website. Do check it out. Um, but yeah, that is coming from me. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. I'll be back in I uh, don't know when at some point this evening, and we will be doing Train Sim World on a route I don't know what we're doing yet. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.